Today is Tuesday, uh, November 19, 2019, and we are examining uh, Psalm 46. And we're talking about God being a present help in the time of our trouble and a refuge and a strength for us. And today, verse 4, Psalms 46 says this, There is a river whose streams shall make glad the city of God, the holy place of the tabernacle of the Most High. Well, rivers are vital to life all over the planet. I love that the Word of God is clear about the river of God. Not only does God's river make glad the city of God and the holy place of God's tabernacle, the river of God flows in his followers. Did you catch that? There's a river whose streams shall make glad the city of God, the holy place of the tabernacle of the Most High. Well, this is what's so important to me because that river is flowing in every follower of Jesus Christ today. When Jesus was speaking to the woman at the well in John 4, he said, But whoever drinks of the water that I shall give him will never thirst. But the water that I shall give him will become in him a fountain of water springing up into everlasting life. That river of God will flow springing up like a well inside of us just keeps springing keeps bubbling in our spirit unto everlasting life. In John 7, in verse 38, he says, He who believes in me, as the scripture has said, out of his heart will flow rivers of living water. And Christ was speaking this. The scripture is very clear about the Holy Spirit who had not yet been given because he had not ascended to the Father. So here's how we know there's a river in us. The Holy Spirit is like a river inside of a believer, giving an overflow of the presence of God. He is the indwelling of the Godhead in us. <laughs> so the Holy Spirit is the river of God flowing in us. Don Stamp says God's river is continual flow of his grace, his glory, and power in the midst of his faithful people. Now God's river should be making us glad. If the river... <laughs> And the streams of that river, that is, those outflows of that river are making glad the city of God. They should be making every believer glad. Uh, that's the joy of the Lord in us. See, that river just keeps flowing and the joy of God just keeps overflowing in us. Pay attention to this carefully. Your and my body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. We are God's tabernacle. He has chosen to dwell in us and abide in us, and his river and its streams are flowing in us. I want to say this again. I just want this to hit home today. The river of God is flowing in you and I. I guess the question we have to ask ourselves, can we or will we or do we impede the flow of that river? Now, some may question if we could ever impede the Holy Spirit, but we do know very clearly the scriptures teach us that we can grieve the Holy Spirit. We can resist his conviction over our soul and spirit. We can ignore his pleas to bring us to Jesus. We do that by yielding to the lust of our flesh, the lust of our eyes, and the pride of life. We become self-focused. We become so narrow in our view that it's all about me. And we end up building a dam of resistance to the flow of the river. One of the ways that happens is we allow bitterness over some wrong or hurt. Maybe it's been a repeated wrong or hurt, a repeated situation with another person, a spouse, a child, or, or someone at church, or someone at work, or someone in the school classroom. And we allow that bitterness to invade our heart and our spirit. And the river, the river stops flowing. Hmm. We've impeded the work of the Holy Spirit, who's to bring us joy every day of our life. My plea for all of us, myself included, today is, is asking God, let the river flow. Mercy Me sings a song, and it's just a very few simple words. It goes, let the river flow, let the river flow. Holy Spirit come, move in power. Let the river flow. Let's pray together and ask God to let that river flow in us today. Oh, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, we call upon you today, and in the name of Jesus, we ask that you'll let the river of God flow, unrestricted in our soul, our mind, and our spirit today. 
Oh, let the wells of the water of salvation just begin to spring up in us. And let the result be that there is joy over our spirit, joy over our soul, and joy, joy over our mind. Lord, any deceit or blindness or bitterness that has prevented us from allowing that, that river just to flow unimpeded in our life, let that be gone. Let, let us be done with it. Show us places where we might have stopped the flow of the river by attitudes or unforgiveness or our damaging things that we've done, sin that we've committed. We just turn to you today <laughs> because if there's a river that can flow unimpeded in us, we want it. We want it, Lord. Oh, in the name of Jesus, let your mercy, your grace, and your glory just flow in our lives and your power and strength so we would find you are a very present help in a time of trouble. Thank you. Amen. God's good today, and he really wants his river to flow. He wants springs of living water to just pop up in your soul. Let it happen today. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.